we got to dive deeper. It's Abby from Make Life Your Own Way, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Ooh. It's where we go through my collection, shop my stash, talk about makeup I used last week, go through my collection to see what makeup we're going to use for the upcoming week. So if this sounds like something like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Y'all, this shirt is from Target. It was so cute and it was like $10. I really just love the color. I think the colors, they really spoke to me. But listen, look, I got an email and I often get emails from brands that want to send product or want to do reviews, but if the products aren't something that I feel I would actually use or you guys would use, or if they're not at a price point that doesn't really make sense for us, I just decline. But I got an email from this brand and I hadn't heard of them, so I watched some YouTube videos on them and I was like, yes. Yes, yes. The brand is Doser. Doser reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price. Doser is able to keep the same high quality by cutting out all the expenses and then the brand tax. So basically, you go to their website and you can search in maybe like a luxury or a popular perfume and they will have a replica of it that you can purchase at a fraction of the cost. So the one that I went with, and they call it Iconic Scents, Designer Quality, No Markups. So all scents are $39, whereas the luxury high-end can be anywhere from $50 to $280 in retail. So I personally went with one that is like Marc Jacobs Daisy, that classic scent that we all hear about on YouTube that I personally love as well. I went with their version of the scent. I don't have that scent currently, but as soon as I smelled this, I was like, yeah, that is it. Look how big this bottle is like that. That's like what double what you would get. But this is floral violet is what they call it. And it says on the website, like, Mark Jacobs Daisy, and it's right next to it. So you know exactly, like, which one to pick out. And this says the top notes are watermelon, pomelo, pomelo, <laughs> strawberry. The middle notes are violet, gardena, and jasmine. And the base are musk, vanilla, and blonde woods. The musk and vanilla is what does it for me. It has a nice spray bottle. If you get it and you're like, that's not the same or you don't like it, it's free return, so... There's no risk if you don't like it, you can send it back. But I'm gonna spray. <sighs> yeah, it's it's that, for me, it's that musk and vanilla. Like that's like really what I get out of it. They are already affordable at $39, but you can bundle three and get 25% off. And then I have an additional 10% off code that will be listed down below. It's only good for a month. But this would be a great time to try different perfumes or Valentine's Day coming up. It would be a great affordable gift to give you to your significant other. They, of course, have uh, colognes in addition to perfumes. What I really like about the company is they really listen to you guys. So they're always taking suggestions for new scents and always adding to what is available. So I hope you guys try it out. You'll have to let me know if you've tried it or if you plan to try it. Um... Jared is really, Jared, my husband, is really into colognes, and he's gotten me more into perfumes because he'll walk out of the bathroom smelling so good, and I'm like, hold on, let me check myself. And I will say with this one, it is long-wearing. I tend to spray, like, scents on my clothes, and I noticed with that one, two days after I wore the clothes, like when I was doing laundry, I could still smell the scent on my laundry, which isn't something that... I typically find with other scents that I use so if you want to try it out want to gift yourself something or somebody else then just check down below there'll be a link and then a little discount for you guys so all right let's talk about makeup 
Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so you guys know I got promoted. Thank you so much on the love of last week's video of me announcing it. Check that video out if you want details. I start that roll this upcoming week, so I'm not going to do a makeup basket next week just because I'm still not really certain what my hours or what that week's going to look like for me. So I just want to... Um, be flexible I guess that if I'm not able to get one up or I don't want to stress about being able to get a video up but I will be back the week after next and I do have a video already scheduled to go up Tuesday so you won't go a week <laughs> without me um, but just so you know we are going to be pulling makeup for like a two week period or a week and a half period opposed to just week to week and I do want to maybe keep in mind some products that I might want to I don't know, put in a makeup bag. I don't know. Do I want to do that? I might want to do that. We'll just kind of keep that in mind and see if it happens. I'm definitely going to put this in my makeup bag that I take to leave with me either at my desk at work or, um, I don't know, or in my gym bag. Um, just because I love how big it is and this is like a sturdy bottle and it smells good Like I think it's gonna help me like feel fresh because I'll have to go from like training clients to like meetings Well, all our meetings are virtual at this point like they're admin meetings So that won't initially be the thing, but I also have like an office mate So, you know, I'm just trying to stay fresh when you know, we're going from sweating to not so uh, I meant to say when I was talking about this that it's free returns up to 30 days, full refund, but it's a lifetime of exchanges, exchanges forever. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's talk about this. Um, this is my uh, winter capsule that we did during Vlogmas. So I did this basically the start of winter. So that was like, what, December 21st? I did it around there. And now we are almost into February. So I guess I've had it for like five weeks or so. And I was talking about last week how I'm kind of like getting bored with it. So I think what I want to do is just take out the products that I know I don't really want to use for the upcoming week. And then we can um, be intentional about at what we add back. So let's just go through that together. So I am going to put back my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar, which looks like this last week i did a look with my urban decay naked cherry and i use um it was like feels being and i think ambition ambitious and then i kind of did like a, this okay guys i was getting fancy this is a cosmetics gen je ne sais quoi and so it's kind of like along the same color scheme. So it's kind of like mono color scheme. And it looked so pretty. And I felt so pretty with it on. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this out to see if maybe I do like that look again or a similar look. I have tapped into the Ornate palette by ColourPop, but I haven't really used it. So we'll keep that out. And I haven't really used the Urban Decay singles. So we'll leave those out. And I know I want to pull an eyeshadow um, from my mystery makeup box. So I think that we can just go ahead and put back all these other eyeshadow palettes, which is the Lorac Pro 4 Classic. Kind of like a berry color scheme, but more subtle. The Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy. I got a ton of use out of this, especially the week of Christmas. And then Boss Babe Betty. I've gotten some use out of this as well, but we'll go ahead and put that back. Um, for bronzers, we had two out. Um, well, we have another one that we'll talk about in a moment. So I'm going to put back the Butter Bronzer and Bronzer. And I'm going to keep in this Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I've enjoyed just having that in here as an option. For pressed powders, I had um, four. Well, we have quite a few. So I'm going to leave in the um, Bacon Blot by Revolution. The Banana Bright. We'll leave that. Oh, Bare Minerals. This is what I threw under my eyes before this video to touch up. This one is in Well Rested. So we'll just leave that in. Um, Cover Girl uh, Clean Fresh. We'll go ahead and put that one back. It's in Fair. 
And then we'll put back the CoverGirl Outlast, the full coverage. This one is in Classic Ivory. Got a quite, quite a bit of use out of that. I'm going to leave in the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. I kind of use this as like touch up or like a finishing powder, which it is a finishing powder, but you know, that's really what I use it for. And then Glowish by Huda Huda. Huda, Huda. Um, I really like this and I like just having this in here to grab. So this is the Luminous Pressed Powder. So I do need to pull something that is more of like a powder foundation. But we're good on like finishing powders. And then for highlights we had um, three options. We had the Becca Pearl. I'll go ahead and put that back. The Hyper Glow by MAC. I dug into this a little bit but I didn't get as much use out of it as I would have liked so we'll keep that in I got some love out of the Mac oh darling so we'll go ahead and put that back and then oh the Jaclyn Hill this is her highlighter in iced we'll put that back I do enjoy using that um, and then we have a few blushes here. Tarte Expose. I got so much use out of this over the past few weeks that I think we can go ahead and leave it in here. Uh, this is Milani T. Rose. I didn't get as much use out of this as I would like, so we'll leave that in. And then I, especially the week of Christmas, I got so much use out of this Tarte Blush Bazaar uh, Limited Edition Holiday part, Palette. Party. What? <laughs> Um, the clear thing started to come out, so I just ripped it out, but I'll go ahead and put this back. So pretty. Love that one. And then we have some pigments, and I did use the ColourPop ones, Got a Jet, and Take Me There. So I'll go ahead and put those back. Um, but I'll leave out Gold by MAC. I haven't used this one yet, so we will keep that. And then I think this MAC Painterly, I'm kind of worried that it's expired. It still smells fine. Let me just keep playing with it. Let's, let's keep playing with it. Okay, we have this here that also has some of that winter makeup capsule makeup. <laughs> um, I do want to um, pull some of this out so we can put Project Pan in it because I have on my channel my 2022 annual or year-long Project Pan. So I'm going to take out these foundations, the Dior Forever and the L'Oreal Infallible. And I'll actually, I'm going to leave in the D Dior, but we will pull another one just so I have a couple of options. And then I want to take the Wet n Wild Primer Serum out. Um... Yeah, I just want, I'm ready to use something else. We'll take out this e.l.f. Eye Brightener um, Concealer. We'll leave the lips. Um, we'll take out the concealers. We had the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, and then we had the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. We'll put those back. And I think that's probably, like, a good place for us for today. Does this fit? Uh, uh, no. Mm -mm. We'll leave in the setting spray. This is a Project Pan item, the Maybelline Glass Skin Setting Spray. So I've been kind of using it as a liquid highlighter. Like once I do my makeup, I'll spray this like on a sponge and then I'll tap it like I'm the highlights high points on my face. I have been liking it like that. Um, okay, products that we were playing with last week, the video going up Tuesday goes into these with more detail. So I'm just going to say what they are, but not really give you a review um, because you'll get it in that video. So we have the e.l.f. primer, uh, the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow pencil. We didn't really talk about it in that video. Actually, I don't think we talked about it at all, but I'm going to leave it in here. We have the Cab Lip Oil. I'm going to leave that in here. The Cover Girl uh, True Blend. We'll go ahead and put that back. The Highlighter Palette. The AOA Blush. We didn't talk about in that video, but I did really enjoy this the day I used it. It's called Frantic Pink. 
This ColourPop, I didn't realize in that video that this is no longer a shade that's available, but this is Catch My Vibe by ColourPop. This uh, Hannah Lee Matte Bronzer we used in that video. So we'll put that back. And then this ColourPop, uh, the Bold and the Aries, we used in that video. So we'll go ahead and put that back. This needs to be wiped out, but I do just want to um, put these products that we're keeping in here back in here so that we have, I guess, more um, organization the word I'm looking for um all right so let's do eyeshadows over here uh face products here and then setting products here um so that's everything we're leaving in here now we're gonna go through and shop my stash to fill in the gaps okay I was doing some organization around the house so I had to swap bins out so this is in different bins but this is from my uh, mystery makeup box sent to me by Angela, and that video is up on my channel. It's my haul video, so you can go check it out. It's a few weeks old, but we've been going through and playing with different makeup. These are eyeshadows, and the thing that I want to play with is this guy, which is the ABH Norvina palette. And I haven't used this, and this is brand new, hasn't even been swatched, but look how pretty that is. Uh, it's a little scary, but we are going to pull this for the week. And then there aren't very many, like, basic colors in there, so let's just have, like, a basic palette on hand. I mean, that one was pretty basic. What about that one? Did you see that BH Cosmetics is bankrupt? I think I saw that on Instagram. I don't know what that means, but like, are they still going to be around or what, what's happening? I don't know, but let's pull this. This is BH Cosmetics Love in London. This is a 16 color eyeshadow palette and it looks like this on the inside. It's more of like a cool tone palette, but I think it will be nice to have something more neutral because we have like that cherry palette. The Norvina palette, which is bright colors. So it'll be nice to have this more uh, everyday neutral tone palette on hand. And then these are more uh, face palettes or face products, I should say. Um, let's, let's see. I want to, I guess for blush, we have some neutral ones. We have quite a bit of blush and highlights. So... Oh, you guys told me to just repress, either repress that one that broke in here that I showed you last week or smash it smaller and use it as a loose powder. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. Thank you for your recommendations. Appreciate, appreciate it. Um, I guess we can just pull like... Uh, oh, I know what we'll do. You guys talk to me about Flower Beauty Highlight. So we'll pull this classic palette. This is the um, Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette. This one's been around for a long time. I'm not sure that it is still around, but I remember that when it came out, everyone loved it. So we will use that. And then also um, the flower blushes. I have used a flower blush in the past, but the tone, it wasn't something that I really liked, so I got rid of it. So I'm excited to try these. Yeah, I think there's three petal. Yeah, I believe it's these three. So these are all Flower Beauty blushes, and we have this one, which is Flower Pots. Oh, no, sorry. Peach and Primrose, so it's more of a peach color. Then we have this one, which is Sweet Pea. It's more of just like a pink color. And then we have this one, which is called um, Spice Petal. 
yeah, that's pretty as well. Um, so we will play with these three with those highlighters. And then we, of course, still have those other highlights that we left in. Lots of makeup, but you know, we just kind of grab, grab and choose, have fun with it. If we don't hit it all, it's no big deal. It's just for fun. All right, I did post on my channel this week all my empty makeup from uh, 2021. I actually forgot to include the all-nighter. Um, it fell on the floor and I didn't realize it until I was done filming. But if you're curious how many products are, are in here and how many I went through, uh, that video is up on my channel. I need to get rid of all that stuff. But I wanted to pull out, these are the Project Pan items. There is a video talking about them on my channel. But I want to, let's see, we're leaving out the Dior foundation, which is kind of like natural finish, easy to apply, a little bit liquidy. So I think a nice pair with that will be this Milani one. The, ah, the classic, oh gosh. This is the this is the Milani Ke Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation. Mine's in 00B Light, so we will grab this to use for a little while. This I might not change as often because it's Project Pan, but I do want to have it out. And then, is there a? I don't have a primer in here because I only have one Project Pan primer and it's in my Makeup Basket Express. So we just have these concealers. We'll, we'll just pull all of this. Pull the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And we will use these for the week. All right, 125 on the Milani and then Light Peach on e.l.f. The final two products that we're going to pull out of here. We have a Tarte lipstick that I like using. I kind of use it like a lip balm. It's in Bare Bud. Looks like this. And then I am going to use this CoverGirl. This is the Advanced Radiant Powder. This is, oh, this is a pressed powder. Um, I guess I don't really have a foundation primer pulled. Hmm. We got to dive deeper. Okay, this is such an awkward angle because I have a big chair here and then I have dogs like at my feet. <laughs> you hear Lily? So I'm just gonna reach. Oh, you can't see. Let's just reach. These are my pressed powders. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And let's just pull this classic here. We'll play with this L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. This is a foundation powder. So I always like having one of these on hand um, just for quick makeup days. Um, if I don't feel like wearing a cream product or if I know I'm gonna wear a mask for a lot of hours, I don't love having foundation on. I prefer to have a powder. Okay, I think that's everything. I know you guys haven't seen my collection in a little while because of the winter capsule. But um, I believe the next, one of the next videos coming up will be a makeup organization video because we have a ton of makeup to put back into my collection. And I want to um, just kind of clean this up a little bit. And then I have a new series that I think you guys will enjoy. We're just gonna really deep dive my collection um, and inventory it together. I know we went through numbers um, in December, but we didn't, tr like I wanna have like a better inventory and I thought we could do that together. Maybe you can inventory your collection while I do mine because we're only gonna do one category per uh, video. So keep an eye out for that. And if we happen to get rid of stuff in that video, that's fine, but that's not gonna be the focus of the video. The focus is just to have a better outline of what my collection is, because I've noticed there's some fun project pans going on. And I would, I think I would prefer to have like my um, makeup collection categorized and then we can just randomly select products for fun project pans. So. It's like a process, right? So we're gonna start the process. Here's all the makeup that we have chosen out for the upcoming week and a half or so. So I won't have a makeup basket up next week, but I'll have one up the following week, but we will have videos in between. Make sure you check out Doser. Let me know what your favorite scent is and check out the discount code 
and the description box below. Otherwise, I appreciate you all being here so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!